Are we online? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Juan. All right, thank you guys for coming. This is going to be a review on the uh, civil procedure portion of the uh, bar exam. Um, a couple important preliminary things that we need to say regarding the bar exam for February 2016. Um, the FRCP changed in December of 2015 in some major ways. However, the February 2016 bar exam is not going to be tested on those changes. Instead, the version of the FRCP that's going to be applicable for the uh, 2016 February bar exam is going to be the version of the FRCP that's applicable in 2012. In other words, the previously existing version of the FRCP. Okay? So you don't have to worry about the um, December 2015 changes. If you take the bar exam at some later time, then you'll be responsible for the later version of the FRCP. Now, the next thing we want to talk about in this section of the review is what topics are likely to be on the multi-state bar examination. Now, these are topics that can be tested on multiple choice. There's going to be a total of 27 multiple choice questions on the February 2016 bar exam based on federal civil procedure. Now, what's important to know is that two-thirds of those questions, in other words, 18 questions, are going to come from three main areas. The first is jurisdiction and venue, such as personal jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, venue, notice, things like that. Also from Section 3, pretrial procedures, such as injunctions, Rule 11, joinder, discovery, uh, pleadings, and things like that. Another important section is motions. Uh, pretrial motions, such as a Rule 12 motion, um, motions for judgment as a matter of law, uh, summary judgments, things like that. The remaining nine questions will come from subsections 2, 4, and 6, and 7 of the outline. So that includes things like law applied by federal courts. So we're talking here about the Erie Doctrine, for example. The right to jury trial. The types of judgments, such as a default judgment, or a voluntary dismissal, and finally, appealability and standards of review. Now, uh, Dean Singer, I understand we're, we're looking to go for about, what, like three hours, right? Okay. Well, I could tell you, I could talk to you guys for three hours just about personal jurisdiction and not run out of things to talk about. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pick and choose things to talk about. So your primary source, of course, is going to be your bar review course, materials there. I'm going to highlight things that I think are worth talking about that I think are more likely to be on the bar exam, things that are appropriate for a three-hour review. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be covering everything. I do see I also have some of my current JD students in here from my Pro class. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, I'll just show, say very briefly that when I'm doing an MBE, a bar exam review, it's much more to the point. It's much less detailed than I might provide for a JD review course or expect of a JD student in her or his final exam. But we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's see how much we can get through. Now, today, I'm going to be pointing you repeatedly towards our resources that I have uh, for civil procedure. So, I have a website that's at uh, nathanson.org. That's spelled N-A-T-H-E-N-S-O-N dot O-R-G. And if you go to the site and click on teaching and then civil procedure, you'll see that I have a section de dedicated entirely to the bar examination. It's a resources for the CIPPRO MBE exam. I have resources uh, split up by overview, subject matter, personal, due process, venue. There's an awful lot of stuff. So I encourage you to go to that website to find things that both supplement what I'm saying today as well as materials that, that cover uh, topics that I don't have time uh, to cover today. There's a lot of stuff. I think I have well over 250 pages worth of learning and review resources on that site. Also, you can get to my YouTube site from the Maine Nathanson website. So if you go to my website and click on... 
click on YouTube at the top, you get to my YouTube site, which has dozens and dozens of videos on categories such as personal jurisdiction, subject matter, pleadings, what have you. There must be between 30 and 40 or more videos on the uh, site right now. Many of them are topic specific. Some of them are uh, geared towards JD, some are geared, geared towards MBE. But, you know, MBE people, feel free to, to watch a JD, JD video if you find it uh, to be helpful. So there's an awful lot of stuff you can work with. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stop the camera very briefly and I'm going to break this video up um, into portions, okay? And at each point, we're going to stop and start a new video. And after I'm done, I'm going to upload all of these video to my YouTube channel so that you can go back and look at them later. So say you missed something or misunderstood something or your notes aren't real clear, you can go back to rehear what I have to say. All right, so let me pause this and then we're going to start up again in a minute.